Hey guys! So today I'm going to show you all the books that I got from the annual book sale that the Wake County Public Library has. This is the first time that I've been to this sale and there were tons and tons of books. The children's section was the largest section. They had a really, really phenomenal selection of books. Um, this being my first time, it was a bit overwhelming, but it wasn't bad because I got some really good books and I even brought the twins with me so I was able to stroll the twins in their stroller and look through the books. So I would highly recommend anyone um, if you're in the Wake County area or research your local area and see if they have something like this because it's a really great cause. Um, you support your local public library and you get some really good books at an absolutely phenomenal amazing price so um these books didn't fit in the bag but the lady was nice enough i just kind of sat them on top so i got these books i got 30 plus books for two dollars so it's a four-day sale it started on thursday and i believe um hardcover books are five dollars were five dollars and paperbacks were two dollars and um, the big sale was Sunday and you can fill a bag for two dollars and you can get so many books in a bag or you could fill a box for five dollars and I can tell there were some pros who have done this before because they had their carts they had their wagons they had boxes and boxes and boxes full of stuff it got me to thinking maybe like that's how people who sell books on Amazon or sell used books on the internet how they get their inventory so it's a really good idea but again I just want to show you guys the books that I got because I am super super excited and again I got all these books for two dollars and I'm grateful that someone told me to grab a bag so I just grabbed this grocery recyclable grocery bag so these are all the books I got and I'll try to go through it quickly for you guys but again 30 plus books for two bucks that's less than a large french fry from McDonald's <laughs> so let's get started so I got this book the busy book for toddlers so it just has activities and crafts that I can do with the kids what your preschooler needs to know I want to make sure that I am informed as a parent and do what I need to do to make sure Julian's ready for school. I saw this book, um, the arts and crafts table was the last table I went to. We had been there for two hours so I kind of had run out of steam so I saw this book and I grabbed it. It has some really good looking food and simple recipes. I've purchased this book before um, and this I just wanted to get it again. I love the Disney movie Alice in Wonderland. Like I said, I read the story once before, but I saw this book and wanted to get it. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. And this is by Lewis Carroll. The one that I have, I don't know if it's the one by him. I think it's like somebody's adaptation of the story. So, Alice in Wonderland. So, as you can see, the, the quality of the books are really good. Some of them, I had to do some patching and taping, but... Um, they had an assortment of books. Some had writing in them, some had stain. I made sure any of the books that I got um, were in pretty good condition and only needed minimal patching like taping and things like that. And then I got another activity book, the complete book of activity games, props, recipes, dances for young children. Now we're getting to the bag. All right, so my son loves Thomas the Train, so I found these five Thomas the Train books. One hard, two, three hardcover books, and then two softcover books. So this was great. They had a whole bunch of Thomas books, but like I said, I wanted to get ones that are in the that were in the the best condition possible. You can hear the kids in the background, so if I am Speaking really fast, that's why I've got a lot going on. All morning the kids were playing. It seems like when I pull the camera out, that's when they want to <laughs> they want to be on camera, I guess. Um, and then just this little critter book, because he has the other ones. It is from Chick-fil-A, 
but it's so thin I was like I might as well get it it goes with his other ones and I can just stuff it in the bag and that's best teacher ever and then of course uh, Winnie the Pooh I love Eeyore so I had to get this book and they had a couple of other Winnie the Pooh books um, but I had my my bag was stuffed and I didn't want to get greedy greedy so I put the other ones back uh, but like I said I like Eeyore Eeyore has a birthday and then I got this for my daughter, Ellie's Tea Party. I saw this book jump, and then you see it says Salto. This book is really cute because it teaches Spanish. So it says, well, I'm a cat, I'm a cat. And then it says, bueno, yo soy un gato, soy un gato. So it has it, the story in English and Spanish. I thought that was super cool. Every Kid Needs a Good Joke book, so I saw this. And a book of silly jokes. Let's see. What's brown and hairy and wear sunglasses? A coconut on vacation. <laughs> knock knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo who? Why are you crying? It's your birthday. I've heard that one before. I'm trying to find a new one. What do vampires cook for lunch? Fang furters. Okay, that's bad. <laughs> uh, this is Rainbow Fish Tattletale. My son likes the Rainbow Fish book, the original one, so I got this one for him. He likes Caillou. I found a Caillou book, and this one's hardcover. And this is Caillou at Grandma and Grandpa's house. This one is Fishy Riddles. Let's see if I can do better with this one. Have you ever seen a fish cry? No, but I have seen whales blubber. Okay. What do whales like to eat with peanut butter? Jellyfish. <laughs> that was so bad. Okay. <laughs> um the fuzzy duckling and uh julian has the chick-fil-a books that go with this i would call it the series the saggy baggy elephant and then there's another one about the lion so i had to get this one to go with the other two this book we had actually checked out at the library i thought it was really cute so i'm glad that i got this one it's monsters love colors These three books right here, I mean, I was really excited when I found these three books. They are by Ezra Jack Keats, and they reminded me of my childhood, because I remember these books when I was a kid. Julian already has the snowy day, so we're going to add Peter's Chair to the collection. A Letter to Amy. And Pet Show. And these are hardcover books. These are classics. These are classics. They're in great condition, so, I mean, these books alone, what else can I say? I, I'm excited about these. See, got me speechless. And then this book, I thought it was so cute. It's um, Petite Rouge, and it's a Red Riding, sto Red Riding Hood story, um, a Cajun Red Riding Hood story. I just, the illustrations, the illustrations, the idea, the concept, I just thought this was really cute. So I am excited to read this one to the kids. And then this, sometimes I like to curl up in a ball. This is one of the books I had to patch up. So I just, you know, you can't even really see it, but I just tape the crease and some of the other pages. So that. Again, Julian likes trains, so good night, engines. I have been wanting this book for quite a while, All God's Critters. This was another deal. This is currently on Amazon for $12. Um, this was the only page I had to tape. It was in pretty bad shape. But I mean, other than that, there's no writing in the book. The book's in good condition. So another, those four books alone, I mean, I'm more than happy with my purchase. Tip, tip, dig, dig. I think Julian liked that. 
I thought this book was cute. My book box. And as you can see, most of these books are hardcover books. Surprise painting at the book sale. I was amazed at, you just don't conceptualize how many children's books there are. It's, it's it was amazing. Since it's Christmas time, I got one Christmas night. So looking forward to reading that to the kids. And these are used library books. I believe mo the ones that I have, they all have a library barcode. So these are from the library. Some you can, people donated books. Um, I'll just wipe them down with a disinfectant wipe just to, you know, make sure they clean before I add them to the rest of the books. But they're all library books. So it's the same concept. You go to the library, you check out a book, you bring it home. Uh, so, yeah, this is Jungle Drums. This looks like a really cute book about a warthog. And then one hen. And the last book, of course, I thought it was really cute because I've got the twins and then Julian. And sometimes I call them my triplets. But this is Peapod Babies. Really cute. So those are all the books that I got from the Wake County Public Library book sale. Again, if you live in a Wake County, North Carolina area, I would highly recommend uh, this sale to you. And if you don't, then do some research in your local area and see if your public library has a sale like this. Like I said, you get something and then you get back to the community by supporting your local public library and then you create... You can start creating a library for your kids and then if you want you can donate the books back to the book sale because like I said for two dollars you know I could afford to donate these books back and then buy some books next year so reduce reuse recycle we're all happy it's a good cause thanks so much for watching guys I hope I encouraged you to buy some books read some books until the next video Peace out, guys.